so we were out for a week and we noticed on the inside by the slide we had a little bit of uh, water damage on the wall that's behind here in the back so no slide here we were figuring that the water came in through the top of the slide so in looking at it what we discovered is that the gutter has a little break right there so john's going to seal that up we also since we live in colorado we have hail and we know that the back vent was um hit pretty hard and cracked and we didn't figure that out until we were there but what we are seeing is that up here at the very roof line there's this vinyl trim that tucks in that was all cracked and broken you can kind of see it better here this stuff so we picked this up at a local family-owned rv center called cousins um, this is the JR Products brand, and it's just listed as vinyl insert. We bought two 50-foot rolls and a 100-foot roll, since they only had one of the 100-foot rolls, and we knew we were going to need at least 150 feet. <laughs> so uh, I've already started to pull it off over here. Show how brittle it is. The stuff on the back is still pretty flexible. Uh, the stuff up towards the roof is very, very brittle. So we'll show you that here in a little bit. Um, it did require pulling a clip off. Let me show them over here. This little clip. Oh, I saw those at the store. I wondered if we needed some new ones. Yeah, this little clip comes off. And like just about all the screws that hold this together it uses this square drive. I don't know if you can see that. Kind of looks like a Phillips, but a Phillips slips in it. Um, these are really easy to find at local hardware stores. Um, this gets the screw, back it out. Then take something to get underneath it. I've got a pair of scissors here for cutting this. And it just pulls right. Well, that's in theory, right? In theory. <laughs> and now it's got die core at the top, so I'll have to get up there with the ladder and uh, unglue it from the very tip top up there. But it should should go back in real straight and simple. So I'll show you how this goes in. I'm going to start it at the top, and then we'll work our way down really is pretty straightforward. It's a little scary how many different directions the screws are in these things. What do you mean? They don't really, well, they have some going this way, and some going in straight, some going up, some going down. It's like a, maybe they just don't care at the factory. So this has a cup to it when you, when you roll it off, pull it off, and this cup goes to the outside. And then these little wings slip in these grooves. So it's the bump is to the outside. The bump is to the outside, yeah. So again, I'll start at the top on this, but I just want to show you that once you squeeze it and put it in, it's actually pretty easy to replace this. So it basically just goes in like that. And you want it to be one com continuous piece from the beginning of the channel to the end of the channel. You don't want to have any leaks in there. So I'm going to plan accordingly. So I'll go up on the ladder and get started. Make it a little 
mark in the dirt there where that hole needs to be. Okay, so we are at the top, and as we pull this through, see right here, it's kind of glued on with a little die core. So we have to kind of pull that off, hand that down to my lovely assistant, make sure that this channel is clear. Thank you, and again, so the cupped part, the bump, goes out. Let's see if I can get up here and give you a better camera angle. Okay, so just trying to make sure that the, the die core is out of the way. Pump is up. Starting in the groove. Right, just pinch it. corner here is really tight because it's its edges got crushed as they bent this over so I'll have to work that in a little bit with a screwdriver so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to kind of proceed forward a little bit so encourage that in just push that through in place. So up here at the joint, there's no cap on this one, so I just get underneath this with the screwdriver. There's a little bit of die core in there. There's no screw? No, nah, no screw cap here. Is that a screw at all? Nope. Uh, yep. This is just glued in. When these were installed, they wrap it under this piece of trim. So, let's see how much trouble this is going to be to get this off of here. Kind of looks like it's die cored down or sealed down, doesn't it? It is. It's die cored at the top. It looks like it's die cored at the bottom. Is it holding the siding on? Yeah, I think you can hold the siding on, hold this trim on. Hold down the edge of the roof membrane. Well, what would be the point of this stuff? Aesthetics, or is it actually doing something? Uh, this material actually water seals around the screw holes to prevent leaks from coming in. So you don't have to water seal each screw. It's getting it though. Finishing up all these little seam areas all at the same time through the dead core. And then you can see at the top. Right up here. <laughs> Looks like it shrunk <laughs> over time.
Okay, so to keep this from sliding, since there's no dike or anything on this particular piece, this trim piece, you can see this top screw goes into this into this uh, vinyl to hold it. So we're getting a new one of these. So just temporarily, I'm going to put the original screw back through the hole. Busted off down here at the bottom. Cracked. Some of that could have been from me prying it off too. It's just brittle. It's, it's brittle. It's old and brittle. PVC is what it feels like. It's really high tech, so I'd say she's due for a replacement. See that one broke right off too. Wow. Oh wait, those are intentionally short. Why are they short? Because it's the back of the. Oh, not broken off. Cut off is what it is. It's cut off. Did you recognize that? Yeah. Before we replaced it. Yeah. And screw well, the slide right I into the side. the slide open. <laughs> okay. So this is a uh, hail damage. Joys of living in Colorado is the frequent hailstorm. The uh, strip across the roof is really severe and it's actually quite brittle. So uh, we'll get to that one shortly. Did what again? Show the mark where that hole was. No. Can't you just feel where the hole is? Yeah, I've tried that. I haven't done very well. This material is just too thick.
slip away and install this. Partly because I'm lazy, partly because my hands are getting really tired the other way. I think I'm going to show that to you. That's the square screwdriver. I did it with a flat blade screwdriver. I did, done it with a Phillips. Um, probably even do it with a ballpoint pen. You get one side started in the groove and use the center punch or whatever ahead of it and then just other side of you. So I'm holding it with this hand, pushing it into that far groove. Show it to you again. Push in on one side, doesn't matter what side, I could do it this side. Push it in. I should sure bring the camera around on this side so you can so I put that in the slot just ahead of it. I'm using this finger to kind of help keep everything in place. Once it once it really starts to take, you can make some pretty quick progress with it. We also found that if you leave this product sitting in the sun for a few minutes to warm up it softens gets a lot easier to install well all thing left to do is to cut that off and cap it so you can see the holes right here I think I center punched that trim right where it needs to go. No oh, bow's too high. Maybe right here. And all the caps on the back. Here's the square head drive. These were installed with Okay, so we can see the factory missed one of these here, and if you look down here, we have a soft-sided tackle box that would keep a bunch of little spare parts in, works amazingly well for that. Any screws that I've pulled off for other projects. Uh, roof vents, these were from roof vents that came with new screws, so I just tossed these in here. Uh, I remember, I think these probably came off sewer tank vents, but they're the same screws that they use here. Self tapping, self drilling. This is just a good attachment. Uh, a square tip. <laughs> Yeah, our dogs are having a good time on there. It's just a square bit, standard size. Happens to be grippier than I thought. Happens to be the same size as these screws. Right. This one down here, I noticed we stripped. It's not grabbing. I'm not going to take it out. I'm going to leave it in there so it continues to fill the hole that it's in. But I'm going to put another one right above it. Make sure it's tight. That hole there, whoops, I thought I just cut myself on, is uh, where the cap goes. <laughs> 